Okay, so it literally takes you just two seconds to outline text in Adobe Illustrator. All you need to do is select the text and use the keyboard shortcut Shift, Command, and O. And if you're using Windows, Shift, Control, and O. Or you can right click on the text and choose Create Outlines. So is it the end of the tutorial? No way, there's more to it. Hey guys, it's June from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to create text outline in the Adobe Illustrator. Personally, I really take this super, super seriously because I made, well, I wouldn't say huge mistake, but it was more of like a embarrassing moment when I was in my advertising class. I had to present a project that I did. And when I opened the project in front of the whole class, the font that I used and the logo that I designed, it was totally messed up because I didn't outline the fonts. So it didn't show the original design in front of the screen, in front of everyone. So wow. I don't want you to make the same mistake as I did. And that's why you should definitely keep watching this video. And besides that, I will also show you what you can do with the text uh, once they are outlined. That's right, I just showed you how to create a text outline real quick in the beginning of the video. And now I'm going to show you what you can do with the outlined text. So when you created an outline, you actually turn the text into an, a group of objects. So if you ungroup them, you can actually edit the text exactly the same as you would when you edit an object. So I'm going to show you a quick example, just going to right click and ungroup this text that I just outlined. And as you can see, you can select the individual text and move it around. You can change the colors as well, just, yeah. I'm going to show you what you can do with these texts. So, so one of the most useful thing is if you want to create your own font or if you want to make a custom font, you can take existing font and then turn it to your font. However, make sure to check the license of the font before you use that. Um, so I select these tags. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and maybe I'm going to make it a rounded text. Well, let me zoom in real quick. All right, so if you don't know how to use the direct selection tool or not familiar with it, I do have a video tutorial as well. I will put the link in the description so that you can check it out. All right, so you can edit the text however you want. I'm just going to make it a little bit cuter like this. And obviously you can edit individual part as well. So that's right. That's one of the super useful thing you can do when you uh, create a text outline. Then you can just edit the outline text using any of the other vector editing tools like eraser maybe. Okay, another super useful thing that you can do when you have the text outline is that you can fill the text with the image background. So how does that work? Okay, I'm going to group this back so it doesn't get confusing. Then I'm going to paste an image that I just found on unsplash.com, my favorite loyalty-free image site. So I just resize the image and then I'm going to arrange the image to the back of the artboard. I mean, to the back of the object, which is the text, send to back. And then, oh, there's another step. I'm going to make this a compound path so select the text go ahead and go to object compound path and make and then select the text and the image and then create a clipping mask so you can use a shortcut command and seven or right click and choose make clipping mask see then you fill the text with with an image background pretty cool and then obviously when you save your file, if you want to share your file with uh, someone else, your teammate, or if you want to share your file with your client, you definitely need to create text outlines so then they can see exactly what shows in your document as well. Otherwise, you'll be just making the same mistake I did when someone else opened the document and they don't have the font installed in their devices and then that was just such a mess. All right, so if you want to learn more about how to create a text outline in Adobe Illustrator, I do have a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to do that. And obviously, I will also add the link to how to fill text with image background in the description below. That's it. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up as always and subscribe to my channel.